Sometimes it's easy to see how people get attached to the suffering and even though they speak of desire to be free, desire to be happy, desire to be that and another, the attachment to suffering is so strong that procrastination comes to play and people say, yeah, I will, I will do that, but tomorrow. Yes, there is opportunity to get Why are you looking help. at me as you say that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> eh, yeah, that's exactly the big question for you now. So tell me, from the difference that you feel right now in your life and in your sense of self and your sense of, I would assume and hear from you all the time, connection, immersion in life, and, and the time when you really had a lot of resistance around change, around work, certain work, and I'm not going to go that deep, but just the question is, when you look back, was it worth it really to say, later, tomorrow, if something, something then, what is this element of timing? How would you now, when you speak about it, what would you say from your own experience? The reason for the wish that it be put off feels like the, it was painful. I was suffering, and it was very painful emotionally. So it only you know, requires a certain amount of real bravery or a, a powerful motivation to step into pain. And, or facilitation uh, from outside that forced you. Here you go. Uh, so the, the nature of being in relationship with you and uh, willing to do anything to experience the power and the value of what we have kept me going when I would have almost certainly not kept going. It was a really tough, tough thing for me because I was really identified as having had all the success I had as a young man around my ego identification. That everything I saw was about what it related to me and every person and every situation was how it it affected me and what it meant about me. So I was, I guess you'd call that, uh, full of self-involved fear. Because I couldn't control the outer world, how people felt about me, no matter how much I tried, and I really tried. And so it began to be almost collapsing in on me. I had no place to go. So the last thing I wanted to do was face something else. But your persistence, my persistence, my willingness to keep trying, uh, produced a breakthrough. Really hard, challenging work. It's not for everybody, which is kind of interesting and true. Not everybody is ready or brave or is experiencing the grace of enough suffering or just ready to, to, to let go of suffering. Ready to let go. Because sometimes, and that's what we discussed, remember last time we had this uh, time around this conversation, that dramas that we create is real entertainment. Imagine it was, yourself. Yes, it was actually, it, it was a good way for me to fill the time uh, it, it, of not making progress. I could be in drama and relationship and talk about other people and again, everything. I could spend hours explaining exactly why I was in the mess I was in. And the, the, <laughs> the interesting part that from where we are at that point, we don't see that we really enjoy the drama that we created because there is inner motivation to do so. We blame the circumstances, we blame that and another, uh, we wish for luck, we wish for, uh, you name it. Yet, if we would be able to step outside of identification with imaginary self and look at us, we would very clearly see that we choose that. We choose that. A lot of people will say, no, there is no way I would choose suffering. Why would on the earth I would choose suffering? <laughs> there is many reasons for that. And one of them, you're entertaining yourself. Your ego needs some sort of battle and you are involved. Imagine you go to a movie. Why on the earth, someone would, some alien would say, why those people would pay, I don't know, whatever they pay, <laughs> to go and see some terror, some, some uh, I don't know, thriller, uh, some action movie with a lot of death. Like why people would do that? It's so negative emotion, oh, you name it, I'm just trying to create an example out of it, there's no judgment, I love it too. Um, why would people do that? Well, very simple, it's a form of entertainment. Any emotion is equally 
entertaining, whether they're pleasant or unpleasant, they are stimulus that create distraction. Uh, distraction, yes, right? So suffering is the choice and freedom is the choice. So it's up to us to decide what we really want. First of all, of course, we need to be very, very honest with ourselves. And that's not easy part. To be very, very, very honest with ourselves first. And only then you can be honest with the world if you choose to out of your, you know, uh, principles. And it's absolutely relevant. Your principles as, as your belief system and your idea about yourself and your ideas about the, the world, it's all irrelevant. It's all, it's all noise that create part of this whole chaotic, events, sequence, the drama really is. I, I want to put out, a, give a little shout out to the fellow we're talking about who was so stuck in his stuff. His name is, let me Yeah, see. that Jan guy. <laughs> and uh, how much he didn't, I didn't get it. It wasn't like I was consciously resisting. In fact, as you know from our interactions, Just I, felt, right? I felt as though I was totally willing and open and available to change. And yet, the pattern was such that I couldn't even see the possibility. Which is why I think, you know, just like they say, every writer needs an editor, every being needs a therapist. We really need that outer perspective and at times that push or pull to get me to go beyond what is my current belief. So I can't know something until I know it someone may be able to be from the outside as you and yoga helped me get to see beyond what I thought was possible. I was living in a world where at 63 I was thinking, well, it's kind of over and I'm going to figure out a way to try to glide to the finish. I sit here now as we do this, excited about the future, Absolutely. anticipating possibilities that it's I had such a wonderful not play. even considered. Yeah. Wouldn't have thought possible just four or five months ago. So what is happening in your world now? What is the difference between then and now, now and then? I'm consciously watching that um, I'm not making everything about me because that leads, I now get that leads immediately to suffering. Everybody's glance, every person's property or not having property or all that sort of stuff are not about the things about my life. Um, and that takes a lot of pressure off of them and me. Uh, I also am able to disidentify from the pieces that I used to identify deeply with. What does that person think of me? Was very important. Now it's not so important. What I'm doing with my breath and what I'm actually doing with my practice. The irony is, is, what, how many years have I practiced yoga since I was 19 years old, on and off, and for the last 11 years had a business in it? I think I'm just now beginning to actually be yogic in my way of holding my energy. And the interesting part about um, the whole discovery thing, that intellectual understanding is not enough. So reading books is not enough. Doing, excuse me, I know that there are probably therapists who listen to me, and you can argue, and it's perfectly fine. You have right. So counseling in the form of talking, it's almost, well, let's, let's put it close to useless. Intellectual understanding, especially if it's very subjective, it just doesn't yeah. go anywhere, right? Right. And I sit in men's circle all the time, and men get it intellectually, but the behavior doesn't enough. show up. So you need some sort of hammer. What hammer? That's a big question, and I, I, and I hope we can talk about it at some point, too. But the hammer, or no, a hammer, whatever hammer is, is extremely important. So it must be <laughs> pra practically force of nature, whatever form it takes. In your case, it took... Yeah. took a, a hot fire. I mean, I, I feel as though that beautiful image of metal being smelted to get rid of the impurities is what occurred to me. Yeah, and it's actually, he talking partially about me, if, yeah. if someone didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, Olga is fire energy uh, personified, there we go. and uh, I think we bless each other. Yes, and we love each other. And you're totally worth it. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, we'll talk to you soon again. <laughs>